This is the highest rated exorcism movie in South Korea in 2019. The emissary of the underworld, the priest sprinkled holy water on the man, who immediately let out a heart-wrenching scream, and his skin began to sizzle and emit smoke. The man was clearly possessed by a demon. The priest opened his eyelids, revealing that his pupils had indeed turned red. With the assistance of his helper, the priest began reciting more powerful exorcism incantations, which clearly caused great discomfort to the demon. Suddenly the demon went berserk, breaking free from restraint, and tackled the priest. Firmly gripping his neck, the assistant rushed to help. The demon flipped over and pounced on the assistant, then spewed a large amount of black liquid from its mouth, all of which sprayed onto the assistant's face. The black liquid induced hallucinations in the assistant. The demon lunged at the priest again, opening its mouth wide. At the last moment, another man knocked the demon to the ground and then punched it, sending the demon flying. The demon attacked once more, only to be knocked down by the man. Then something strange happened black smoke began to emanate from the demon's face. The man's skin ignited with white flames. It turned out that the man's blood on the demon's skin, and the priest seized the opportunity to drench his head with holy water, causing the demon's entire head to be engulfed in flames, ultimately destroying it with holy fire. The man who had been possessed, Yung Ho, returned to normal. He sought out the priest to uncover the secret of his perpetually bleeding palm. Yung Ho had been a top-notch MMA champion, undefeated in the octagon for years. One night, he had a dream of Jesus' cross, as if it were nailed to his palm, causing him immense pain. He woke up from the dream in agony, and strangely, his palm bore the same wound from his dream. With continuous bleeding, ever since, a multi-handed monster would visit him every night while he slept, seemingly attempting to enter his body, but always fleeing before succeeding. The priest explained it as stigma from Jesus, only appearing in devout believers. However, you know harbored a deep resentment toward God and despised what he saw as these so-called holy wounds. Little did they know, the true archdemon had returned as evidenced by the ring on his hand. He was the same demon responsible for killing Yuno's father 20 years ago. Astonishingly he hadn't aged a day because he had sold his soul to Satan for power and immortality. He needed to offer human hearts in the demonic pool to maintain his youth and heal his wounds instantly, with even more sinister secrets hidden within the depths of the infernal abyss. 